Hi everybody. It is an awesomely windy, chilly, spooky day. And we are going looking for one of the most abandoned, watch out for this barbed wire, sweetheart. There's barbed wire right there. Just ignore it. You hurt yourself, you hurt yourself, okay? Okay. We're going for one of the spookiest, craziest cemeteries. I have ever seen courtesy of Drew's adventures. So we are in Australian bush and there we go. See the headstones? This is a very abandoned, hello Diesel. <laughs> Did you get out? Very, very abandoned place. And by law, they should be fenced, but this one has really gone to the dogs. You can see there was a fence line across here. The original fence line just there, going all the way across there. So let's go into this corner. What an awesome place, hey? There's the back corner and there's a fence line that was going along there. Part of it's down as well. We'll start with this stone here. Gracious me. This one's unreadable. See if there's anything on the other side. Apart from a red bat, see that? Nasty little spider they are. All right, nothing on headstone number one. Looking behind me and all the way through to the back, I can't see any other sights. I can see these two crosses. Let's see if there's anything on them. Marie Elizabeth Jensen, 1825 to 1871. And Heinrich Jensen, 1807 to 1867. Just two white crosses there. Oh, it's a chilly old day. I love it. I love it. I love this cemetery. It is so abandonedly, awesomely abandoned, isn't it? <laughs> no one taking care of this one. There was a gate there. That's the bit where you take the pin out and that bit opens if you need to get in there. Let's have a look at this headstone, see what we can see. Very spiky spikes, those ones. I'll put you up close. And having said close, I think the surname is, is it K-L-O-K-E? I can see an 1870 there too. And a lot of that headstone, hang on, I'm caught in a spike. If we put you through here, is actually buried. Wow, let's back off a bit and let you have a look at that awesome sight. Oh, kangaroo, see the kangaroo? Did you, did you see the kangaroo? Oh, no. GZ <laughs> chased the kangaroo. Look how bad this is. Look at that. Terrible, isn't it? I mean, you could actually probably at least fix that up a little bit. Let's have a look at this one. So the top of the headstone's down there and it's Rudolf August. Is it C-U-M-M-E or G-U-M-M-E? 30th of September, 1905, age 79. What an awesome headstone. It's got a bit of wire around it here, so somebody tried holding it up at one stage. Let's step back and have a look at that one too. So 
So I still can't see anything behind me around there, but I can see down there a little one. Look at this. I mean, what a mess. So there's a site there with no headstones. There's a site here with the stone and the stone is on the ground. It does have words on it. You see 1803 there. Oh, how sad. Where's the top of the stone? How terribly, terribly sad. All right, so, oh my, look, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> this stone's here, look. Herman, oh. Herman Spur, S-P-E-H-R, 1871, 18... 73 oh wow we can we can do better than that can't we wow okay so there's a plot there and look at this when the um surrounds are made of wood you know they're really old really really old wow look at this headstone there's the top of it it's actually got kangaroo poo on it there's a headstone up there in the corner the here comes the rain okay we've got our hoods all right we're gonna step in here i don't know what else to do i think there's a headstone here let's have a look oh just makes you want to come down and clean things up a bit doesn't it well, if we're going to get some rain some water would help with this it's got some fancy design it's definitely got some words there I think this might be where it's broken off and this is the top of it oh goodness me what a disgrace excuse me guys I should try and get some water it says something about angels I can't read it go on to the next one What have we got there? You get a surname. I think is it Sarah, beloved wife. Oh, they're big letters, aren't they? 1876. Also Elizabeth. Try to get it all in there. I do individual on these headstones as well. But I'm still in this surround wooden surround, so. Maybe a family plot. Look at the poo on that. Dear, dear. Let's just get that off there. Sorry, guys. In memory of Richard Hannaford. 1878, age 67 years. I, I do think we could do a little bit better than this. Did we do this one? This looks like it's that piece, that piece, this piece and this piece. So where'd the little tip? So that bit there affixes to that bit there, then that bit there, and then the little tip on it. Look at that. And this is Hannaford as well. Sorry, I was showing you that, wasn't it? This is for James Richard Hannaford, 1887. He was 32 years old. Okay. So that looks like it might be the Hannaford plot. Would be awesome to come out here and get this all fixed up, but it's so remote and I doubt anybody's interested. It's a lot of time, effort and money, isn't it? Look at this. All right, who's this for? Mary. She's the beloved wife of somebody and she was aged, what the hell old is she? Is it 30 or 54 years? That was up on there to start with and that's got an iron surround. So despite the fact that this place is in the middle of nowhere, check this out. 
So this is obviously another family plot because it's it's huge. It's really large. And um, there's one here. Well, look at these alone are beautiful, aren't they? Now, looks like it was a book. As you are now, so swum something. I think that acanthus. Pretty sure those looks like they might be part of another headstone here. Stone went together like that, definitely, didn't it? Anything on the other side? No. Just a diesel. Right, so we're walking around the edge of that particular family plot, which is huge. Absolutely huge. Look, here's the top of a stone. Oh my gracious me. Look how dry and perfect it is that side. Alright, so there's so a depreciation there and I'll just show you the design on there. I'm just gonna zoom in on this one. Frederick James, son of Mary and John Hannaford. 1967 John Elliott beloved husband of Margaret Hannaford 1937 81 years old Mary Hannaford beloved wife of John Elliott Hannaford who died zoom in a bit closer there 1918 age 49 years her cheerful smile her happy face are pleasant to recall she had a friendly word for each and died beloved by all and that's part of her arm kind of does deserve a few seconds of silence doesn't it it's awesomeness beyond awesomeness let's just zoom in on this one a bit so you can only imagine that underneath all of this because if you look very closely see the pottery this was very common in south australia this pottery lining edging around sites and you can see it going around there so i can only imagine what is under this grass and what headstones would be revealed and someone's lost their little tote bag send it up there hang that up there to dry in case they come back for it wow hey just wow there's a kangaroo I'm going to go and say hello to the kangaroo. I was wondering which way we'll go, but I think we'll go kangaroo way. There he goes. <laughs> hey, go little roo. Wow, lots of roos around here. You know what? They seem to have marked, I'll come back to you in two seconds. They seem to be marking the corners. As I said, they are supposed to be fenced. So maybe they're going to do something about fence, but see it back up properly. Do this one this is in loving memory of Lorenz Wilkins oh my gosh look at the kangaroos oh one two three four five six wow wow come this way I come this way <laughs> he's not coming this way you can hear me well that's very exciting <laughs> there's a real pack of them they're going all along there now Wow, I wish I'd been faster for you guys. I would have tried to ca catch it more. They're everywhere. I'm surrounded by them. <laughs> Almost getting a little bit frightened. <laughs> and as we saw before, they are coming in here because they pull on the headstones. Can you see them? They're still there. That's... So there's a couple there. Sorry, Lorenz. Lorenz Wilkie. This is a little one, isn't it? You see those designs? really huge this is a little one why is it little so lorenz wilkie was born 6th of july 1813 and died 3rd of june 1895 so that's quite a long life 
beautiful little site. Isn't it amazing how good condition this is in? I mean, look at this, you know? And then you look at the one next to it and it's gone. And where those roos went, they're not coming up behind me, are they? <laughs> oh, wow. That would have been worth getting on camera. All right, let's go on to this one. So this one is broken. You really do need some work. Look how white that bit there is. Weird, isn't it? That's my broken nail. Don't look. Right, Schultz or Shut, Shut, S C H U T T. So the other one was Wilkie, so it's a different name. It looks like, sorry guys, um, Ether, Bertha, maybe, or I don't know which bit goes in there. Oh, gracious me, gracious, gracious. Maybe I could put a bit of time and effort into this cemetery. Not much I can do with, with my neck problem, but anyway, moving on, moving on, moving on. All right, we did that beautiful one. I just... Kim, did you see the herd? Did you see the herd of kangaroos? They came all the way across here, it was awesome. Hope right, we find them again. They've gone that way. <laughs> What's that? Is there? Okay, so we did that awesome one there. Now, we did that one there. I'm pretty sure we did that one there because it would have been silly not to. Say hello, Diesel. It's a good place to run around, isn't it? Didn't bring my little ones because it's a bit dangerous here and I wouldn't have been able to keep an eye on them as well. So we're walking down to the sort of the bottom left because there is another little site down here. And there are headstones through here too that I have missed because I have been here before. So if you do go through, through for a really good look, you will find more than this. Now look at this beautiful one. This is for Vera. In loving memory of Vera, beloved daughter of T and A Waters, who died at Blumberg, 17th of February, 1896, and she was only one little year old, just a little bubba. Now look at her little site. Isn't that beautiful? 1996, that was 100 years old. Little Vera, resting in peace out here in all this awesomeness. All right, so there's the back fence line. Yes, let's use our eyes. Because without a doubt, there's more plots in here. But apart from the ones that are up north from Adelaide in the middle of nowhere, which I absolutely love, like Amyton and places like this. This is by far one of my favourites. Thank you, Drew. So you can see another marker over there. I think they might be thinking about fencing it. Haven't seen anything. Hello, Diesel. There's certainly depressions. There's the fence down along there. And it's a right old fence too, isn't it? Made with the old sleepers. It's definitely a depression there, without a doubt. What do you think? It's pretty awesome, isn't it? As far as abandoned cemeteries go. No, but I can see some markers coming in. I think they're going yeah, to be fencing it. Yeah. What's here? It seems, I mean, my, my goodness me. That's a wooden headstone. And they are as rare as hen's teeth. 
I'm actually going to call that and say that's actually a headstone. Let's just lift it up a bit. Oh, see the centipede? They're nasty. They give you a nasty bite. I don't mean to move the headstone around, but if that's authentic, because I can't see any other reason for there being a slab of wood out here like that. We don't see very many of them in South Australia. Have a look here. Can you see the rise and then over and then the rise and over? There'd be plenty in here that we've probably missed. Have to check out the burial records. All right, well, what an awesome place. That wind. <laughs> Whoa! The wind is awesome. I'm going to sign this one off there, guys. I'll see you soon. Thanks heaps for joining me. Take care.